Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jeb Smith, Coldwell Banker, Residential Brokerage here in Huntington Beach. And today we're gonna to talk about ADUs. What is an ADU? Um, an ADU is uh, commonly referred to as a granny flat probably more often known as a granny flat, but ADU, the acronym actually stands for Accessory Dwelling Unit. Um, I've also heard them referenced, referenced as Auxiliary Dwelling Units, but essentially what it is, is it's a secondary property that's placed on the, the same lot as a single family resident. So generally uh, speaking, when, when single families are zoned, they are zoned only for one house on a lot. So it's considered R1 um, and you can only have that, that single house on the lot. Well, a couple years ago, California passed a law that allowed um, you to now build these secondary units on the same plot of land and they are considered ADUs. Now keep in mind there are, um, while the state allows them, each county um, has their own restrictions on it, city actually more specifically has restrictions on it, um, the sizes, uh, what's permitted, what's not permitted, etc. So you know and, and these need to be permitted, right? So you can't just go out and get the specifications online, which I've seen done, and have these built and, and be considered legal ADUs. They, they need to be permitted through the city, which means that you need to get a pull a permit and then there's certain specifications with regards to building them that need to be met in order to, to actually qualify as a, a permitted ADU um, or a granny flat. And, and so the idea, the reason these are, are so popular, um, for one is because we, we have such a, a huge inventory issue um, in California to begin with, so there's not a lot of available property out there. Um, so ADUs are popular for, for that reason, but more specifically, it's, it's the cost, right? The cost of living um, has increased so much over the last you know, 10, 15 years in California that people are getting priced out of property to start. And so what it does is it allows you to build secondary units on your property. And now keep in mind, these can be detached or attached. Um, so it, it doesn't necessarily have to be you know, a detached property in the back. It can be an attached property um, to the existing structure. And, and it allows you know, for, for people to, to live in them. Um, you know, it could be a mother-in-law suite. Um, you know, the question often comes up as well is can they be rented out? And, and the answer is yes, um, depending again on the city codes, but, but the idea is yes, that, that they can be a secondary um, unit on the property that can be rented out. Um, and in a lot of cases, the, they have separate entrances to these, to these property. Well, actually in all cases, uh, an ADU will have a separate entrance to the property where you won't have to go through the main existing house in order to get there, um, whether it's a side to the backyard or, or however you access it, there's a separate entrance to those properties. And keep in mind, they also have bathrooms and kitchens, right? So it's a, a full livable unit where you wouldn't need to necessarily access the main structure of the property. That's what a true ADU is. Um, and, and so, you know, over, I would say the last two years, um, they've become more and more popular because not only can you rent them out, but they actually increase the value of your property in most cases. So that's another question that comes up is, is do these actually increase the value of your property? And I would say absolutely, um, assuming that the construction is done, you know, with, with, with it, they're well built, um, you know, with, with good craftsmanship, um, and they're permitted. Uh, yes, absolutely. It could add value to your property. Um, because again, it, not only could it be a, a secondary unit for, you know, a kid to live in, um, once they get past a certain age or, um, you know, uh, a, another family member, or in some cases, again, they could be rented out or, or used as a mother-in-law suite. So, that's why they're super popular, um, especially locally in Orange County. You got a lot of people looking for that, that secondary unit on properties and there's not a lot of them out there, but what we're starting to see is more and more of them being built. And I would say the last question that comes up more often is, is how much does it cost to build these things? Um, you know, if you look online and you get a lot, do a lot of the research, you know, a lot of what I see is somewhere around hundred thousand dollars to build a separate ADU, like a detached ADU. Um, whereas if it's attached to the, the existing structure, they can be done for less. Um, but, you know, in talking to different contractors, it, you know, it sounds to me like, you know, the cost is probably about half of that um, and actually to, to build one. So if you're interested in ADUs, I would tell you to, you know, check the, the codes for the city um, to see what the specifications are. You know, there's, they, they have to be under a certain size. You can't just build this monstrosity in the back 
backyard and call it an ADU. It, there's a limit to, to how big it can actually be. Um, and, and clearly certain specifications that need to be met in order to, to, to qualify um, as an ADU. So, um, and then there's some Senate bills that were recently passed as well um, and signed in by Newsom that allows you to do you know, multiple of these ADUs on property. So again, what I would tell you is make sure you're checking city code to make sure that uh, what you're doing is is correct um, and that you're not having any issues, especially when you go to sell your house. Um, you know, the last thing you want the, them to do is, is actually impede the value of your property versus, you know, add to it. So if you have additional questions, you know, comment below. I'll, I'm happy to uh, to do the research for you if, uh, if you can't find it yourself or just don't want to do it um, or contact me directly. Uh, either way, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch and we'll see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.